All right, so here's Michel Pereira making the walk for his fourth UFC appearance here tonight. He wants to put the past behind him and focus on the future. He has a plan to move to Vegas and lean on that UFC PI and told us Thursday, DC, he wants to show Dana White and Sean Shelby tonight that he is not just ready for Zelami Medaya, but he's ready for any welterweight in the world they want to throw him in there with. So. Oh! Did you see that? I did. did you see that right hand? Oh my goodness. He loves that Showtime oh. kick. Appeared to partially land it there. Two minutes now to go round one. I mean, Pereira's just so fast for him. Oh, beautiful job by Pereira. Lateral movement into a big right hand that knocks him a dive down. In the right frame of mind. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's hurting him every time he hits him. So he's got him a dive hurt bad. Of his total strikes unofficially. Oh! oh. oh. And a Superman punch. Hard to keep track. Big knees to the body now. I mean, Pajeda has him hurt, man. And you have to fight him in his style of fight. It's a real problem. And I would agree with John Hyun Ko, who just tweeted, it is beautiful violence. I mean, how do you not love watching Pereira compete? Oh, he just slapped him, Johnny just slapped him. Oh. Lima Dayev retreats, eats a left hook. Oh, man. You can argue in 2020, this is a... <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, he changed the finish. Oh, he's got stop, 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 oh. stop. Michel Pereira gets the late finish to boot. A huge night for the budding welterweight contender. Well, she came off of Dana White's contender series, the Brazil version. Tonight, Tyler Santos makes her second UFC appearance. Now, Megan, her dad's a Muay Thai coach, but she only started training at 16. She'd rather play soccer in the streets with the boys, I guess. Yeah, hey, but it has worked out for her beautifully as she has a record of 15 and one. You know, she started with the Muay Thai, like you said, and then it kind of evolved into wrestling and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And then she had her first fight and it was a success. So her dad continued to help her propel her career forward. She said her father was really the driver of her start and continued success. And Molly came into this one in the best shape of her life. That's a hard leg kick there from Santos. And there, Santos gonna return the favor here, get the yeah, takedown. Yeah, look at that, yeah, easily done as well. She looks great tonight. She looks great, so much more confident, I think, too, just making this second UFC start. Big kick to the body from Santos. Oh, good takedown. I've got to say, Santos looks sensational tonight. Another takedown. Beautiful job. Right over to Mount. Again, oh, she laces again. through the legs again. That's there beautiful. There it is. I mean, she look gets at that, that body lock and angle changes to the side and dumps her over her own leg. It's a powerful takedown. Nice job. Circling to the back. She's going to let some big punches go here. Molly doing everything she yeah, can man. to get back up to her feet, man. There's no doubt that she's a fighter. No, she does not give up. She's fighting her heart out. The problem is, is tonight, Tyler Santos looks outstanding. She looks the best she's ever looked. She's lacing those legs, man, and really making Molly McCann work extra hard. Now she's trying to get a finish. With yep. 15 seconds left, she's trying to finish this fight. You gotta Molly, love that. Molly, to her credit, still fights. still trying to escape. Still trying to do everything she can. <laughs> So the output does not wane down the stretch for Tyler Santos and perhaps a coming out party. All three judges score this contest. 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Talia Santos. Tyler Santos, 16-1. She's never been finished.